to the Christian Perspective, my name is Win Tanama. In this video, we have compiled for you a list of videos, clips, which have been specifically and particularly tailored for you to see how much of the American church or American Christianity has veered so far away from the true doctrine of Christ. It's actually very interesting to see how the majority of churches in this country where people go to worship look more like entertainment centers or places where people go have fun and enjoy themselves. Take a look. This weekend is 32nd Theology. We are having a huge football party at church, which means we are going to have some Gatorade to drink. We are going to have games for the whole family. Make sure that you wear your favorite football jersey. Don't forget about the hot dogs that we are going to have. This is the best week of football for the whole year. Remember, whoever finds God, I want to see you this Sunday for 30 Second Theology. It's where our pastor Craig Rochelle uses popular commercials to illustrate biblical truth. So we need you to bring your family, bring your friends, because here at Switch, we've got students who are excited to invite you to 30 Second Theology. 30 Second Theology. Of course I'm going to have a hot dog first thing in the morning. It's 30 Second Theology. Of course Taylor's going to win. It's 30 Second Theology. Of course I'm going to laugh and cry at the commercial. The game here at home. You gotta fight for your right to party, bud! You heard him this weekend. We're having a party at Life Church Derby for 30 Second Theology. We're gonna have food, football, and fun, and we cannot wait to see you there. Sickness, job loss? Sounds like y'all are experiencing the PPP, a personal prayer problem. Come on now, sow that seed. Hmm? I look at this crowd, I see a lot of targets on your back. And the devil himself, he's an archer. But you know what an arrow can't pierce? <laughs> faith and a stack of hundred dollar bills, am I right? <laughs> now let me ask you this. If God didn't want us to have nice houses, why do I have one? You might want to get yourself some flex seal because I just punched a hole in y'all's logic. My neighbor walked up to me the other day and he says, Bill, I, I just need help. I'm poor. I looked at him and I said, you're poor? When's the last time you prayed? Bill ain't no longer poor. Can you guess why? Because he sowed that seed. I am not what they call a mainstream preacher. Mainstream? <laughs> There ain't no way I can fit my yacht down a mainstream. <laughs> I'm talking about the ocean. I'm an ocean man. Give me the golf any day of the week. And twice on Sunday. Poor people are stupid. I mean, it ain't hard to make a dollar. You know what I'm seeing out there? A lot of sinners. I see sick people. I see poor people. Get him out of here. Let's start with the facts. The churches today are not what they used to be. Once upon a time, they were the moral compass of society, guiding us with the principles of repentance and holiness. Today, they are more like profit centers selling prosperity and the love of money. And yes, I'm talking about Kenneth Copeland, Joel Osteen, Billy Graham, and all these other people. These so-called pastors are preaching a gospel of wealth, twisting the true message of Christianity to suit their own avaricious ends. Let's be clear, this is not the Christianity of the Bible. What we're seeing is a perversion, a sickening distortion of faith. And instead of calling for repentance, these false prophets are peddling a lie. They tell you that God wants you to be rich, that material wealth is a sign of his favor. But what does the Bible say? For the love of money is the root of all evil, 1 Timothy 6.10. It doesn't get much clearer than that. And yet these charlatans stand on their gilded pulpits, raking in millions, while their congregations fall deeper into spiritual and even physical poverty. They flaunt their mansions, their private jets, their designer clothes, all while preaching about the virtues of giving. It's hypocrisy at its finest. But the real tragedy? So many are blind to it. They've been lulled into a false sense of security, believing that their donations are buying them a ticket into heaven. But let's not stop at these pastors. Look at the congregations. People who claim to be Christians, yet their actions tell a different story. They've embraced the world's values, normalizing sin, lawlessness, divorce, homosexuality, infidelity, dishonesty. These are now commonplace and even accepted in many of these marketplaces. And we wonder why America is falling apart. Look no further to these buildings, the supposed moral backbone of our nation. It's time to wake up. This is a call to every true believer out there. Stop supporting these wolves in sheep's clothing. They are leading you astray. The path to salvation is narrow, and it's paved with repentance and holiness, not gold and silver. Remember what Christ said, Enter through the narrow gate, for wide is the gate and broad is the road that leads to destruction, and many enter through it. Matthew 7.13. So what can we do? First, we should return to the true teachings of Christ. We should read our Bibles, for everything we need to know is found within. Pray for discernment. Seek out pastors and churches that preach repentance and not prosperity. 
Stand firm in your faith and do not be swayed by the false promises of wealth and comfort. Christianity is not a get-rich-quick scheme. It's a call to live a life of sacrifice, humility, and service. And that's our perspective. God bless.